Hello and welcome back. This is Lake Tahoe Television News. In the early hours of Thursday morning, a domestic dispute between a couple in South Lake Tahoe took a bizarre turn when the female combatant ended up barricading herself from police. 33-year-old Kimberly Ann Leard, seen here, reportedly had been drinking and arguing with her boyfriend, 37-year-old Matthew Hamilton. Police found Hamilton bleeding from the head, hand, and foot. When police showed up, Leard climbed over the balcony at the rear of the third floor apartment and climbed down to the balcony below in order to evade police. She then entered that apartment through an open door. The tenant of that apartment, upon discovering a stranger standing in his living room, fled his own apartment and told police that there was a rifle and ammunition in his bedroom which could be easily accessed by the intruder. Leard then allegedly barricaded herself in the apartment. After the police department's hostage negotiator was unable to get her to give herself up, police made entry and they found her hiding in a closet. She was arrested for felony domestic violence and resisting arrest. A single-engine airplane crashed shortly after takeoff from the South Lake Tahoe Airport on Monday. Witnesses saw the plane losing altitude just after it took off around 11 a.m. The plane is a 1963 Mooney, similar to this one, and it crashed into a wooded area just east of the airport. The pilot, 67-year-old Stephen Lefton of Palo Alto, was killed in the impact, but his wife Karen survived. She was helped to safety and attended to by an off-duty CalStar flight nurse, Beth Frisbee, who happened to be out walking her dog in the area. Now, Moonies are built with an internal roll cage, which may have helped Karen Lefton survive. Pilots are trained to maintain the runway heading as the plane's wheels leave the ground on takeoff. That way, if anything bad happens, there will still be some runway underneath to set the plane back down. But in this case, witnesses reported seeing the airplane take an immediate right turn just after liftoff, with about half the runway to go. A right turn directly over tall trees and rising terrain. Aviation experts have told us that normally there's no reason for a pilot to do that. The NTSB is investigating what went wrong. The investigation continues as South Lake Tahoe police try to identify the suspect in last week's stabbing, which resulted in the death of 28-year-old South Lake Tahoe resident Julian Acevedo Salvador. Police do not think the victim knew the suspect or that this might have been gang-related. This was the first murder of 2013 in the city of South Lake Tahoe. Any witnesses to the attack are encouraged to call secret witness at the number seen here on your screen. Homewood Ski Resort has announced it is opening a new network of trails for hiking and mountain biking. The trails are all within the resort's boundaries and offer some great views of the lake. It's also the first time Homewood Ski Resort has allowed public access to its summer trails and the access is free. The entire length of Interstate 80 from California through the Sierra and all the way through to New York will see stepped up patrols and enforcement this week as part of what's called the I-80 Challenge. The cooperative campaign involves agencies all along the national highway to try to minimize traffic fatalities during the height of the summer driving season. So look for more CHP vehicles along I-80 through the Sierra this week They'll be looking not only for DUIs and speeders, but for cell phone and seatbelt violations as well. That's it for now from the Lake Tahoe Television News Studio. I'm Robert G. Scott.